welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen and I'm very excited you have found me. So please definitely stay for this video. I have seen this video going around, which started from Byron, the amazing Byron, and it is a quick fire assumptions challenge. You have to answer all the questions within 10 minutes and there is no edit. Normally I cut out bits where I'm like, um, or I make a mistake or I fumble over my words, but this is completely going to be unedited for 10 minutes. I'm nervous because I've seen some of the questions and they are very juicy and they are also questions I've never answered on this channel. So for the next 10 minutes, this is going to be completely unedited. Quiz master behind the camera, start the timer. Three, two, one. You don't actually have a stomach condition. I saw this question and I was actually really upset. Honestly, no one in their right mind would ever lie about having a life-threatening, lifelong condition. I have my stomach condition. I wish I didn't have my stomach condition, but hey-ho, we live with what we got. So yeah, I'm definitely not lying about that. If I was to lie, that would be slightly worrying. But yeah, my family and friends have all been in hospital with me, so next your, month. Your wedding cost more than 30k. No, it didn't. We actually were really good with our wedding. We actually were very under 30k, definitely not 30k. I mean, if you've got 30k to spend, go and love your life. But actually, we really scrimped and saved and had a beautiful wedding. And actually doing it abroad was a lot cheaper than doing it in the UK. And there's only 18 people in our wedding, plus me and Spencer, so 20. So yeah. You have six figures in your bank account. Wow, I wish. <laughs> then we would have been spending 30k on the wedding. No, I don't. My personal account, I don't. You own sex toys. Oh, I actually don't. Funnily enough, I think my husband's pee is good enough. <laughs> I can't even edit that out. That was so cringe. No, I actually don't. Um, loads of my friends have, my family have stuff, but I don't. So, yeah. You make up your story times. That's actually savage. No, I definitely don't make up my story times. I actually think you get attacked quite a lot if you do story times because you're so open and you have a lot of different things to talk about. But I have even more story times than that. But I wouldn't expose myself by having my ex-boyfriends being talked about, my ex-friends, all those things. But yeah, I think when you're so open on your channel, people are going to say things. But no, my family have been on my story times. My family watch my channel. If I, if I was lying, they'd call me out on it, trust me. <laughs> you say you're tight for money to seem more relatable. <laughs> Is that relatable? I mean, we definitely don't say we're tight for money. I've grown up in a family where I had hand-me-downs. Like, my parents scrimped and saved when they grew up, but I still went to private school because my parents saved all their money they could for our education. So, no, I don't say I'm tight to be more relatable. I'm just being honest in the sense that I love a good dupe. I love drugstore. I love Primark. I love affordable things because I want to save. You know, it takes a long time to save for a house and your future. So, yeah, I'm not saying that to be relatable. You have slept with over 10 people. Wow. That's actually, you know, quite a good question because I'm 27. So essentially, is that normal? But no. Fun fact, I have actually slept with under five people. So not over 10, not even over five, under five. When I met Spencer, I hadn't had sex for five years. So, you know, but 27. Under, but if you want to go and sleep with loads of people, do whatever you want to do. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever met a rude YouTuber? Actually, I have. I'm not going to mention names just because I'm not that person. I'm never going to slag someone else off on my channel. But I went to KSI's New Year's Eve party. Was it two years ago or three years ago? Maybe three years ago, actually. And there was a rude YouTuber there. Really rude. Condescending. And just, yeah, looked at me as if, like, who are you? I was like, I'm Imogen. I'm no one. <laughs> Most famous person you've ever met. Fun story. I get to tell the story. This is my claim to fame. I actually, when I lived in London, I had really bad flatmates my first year. I started seeing this boy who actually lived with Dua Lipa. She wasn't Dua Lipa at the time. She wasn't big or anything like that. But I became really close friends with her and ended up actually sharing her bed all the time and living with her. So, yeah, we're not friends anymore. We're not close anymore just because, obviously, she is massive. But when I got her Mac PR package about a year and a half ago, I WhatsApped her and I was like... This is crazy, like, we've actually come back to each other in a way, because she did a collab with Mac. But yeah, it was just after she just did her ITV um, Britain's Got Talent, or is it, it was one of those, no, it wasn't Britain's Got Talent, it was X Factor, she did the X Factor ad. And I actually love Dua and have so much, a massive place in my heart for her, because she got me my agent, which actually started me in adverts and acting, so love Dua, hold tight D. <laughs> How much money did you earn from your last video? I don't actually know, but my, everyone probably thinks I earn thousands from my videos, but I definitely don't. I mean, I'm no one. So I will put a little screenshot on the thing here now, but AdSense has been really terrible, obviously due to everything in the, in the world at the moment, but there you go. That is what I make. Have you ever stolen an, uh, something? No, never stolen anything. I think maybe when I was younger, I probably had a pick and mix from the pick a mix candy king thing when I was little, but didn't tell mum. But pick, pick a mix used to be like a penny. 
So I do owe my news agent one penny. There you go. Favourite sex position? Oh, I like that question. Um, oh, I don't know. We're not like the Karma Sutra or anything. We're not like really out there. But I quite like being on top. I like you being on top. I like talking. <laughs> this is so great. I'm getting shy. Okay. But yeah, there you go. What happened to your older brother? Oh, nothing happened to him. He's an angel. We actually spent Christmas with him. We were literally with him like a month ago, two months ago before this whole, well, yeah, two months ago before this whole thing happened. Um, he's an angel. Nothing happened. He just decided he didn't want to be on my channel anymore, which I completely, completely understand. When he first started being on my channel, he was actually really, really open with you guys saying that he was shy and he was an introvert and he didn't really like being on the camera, but he used to come on for me. And so yeah, all of our relationship is behind closed doors. He's an angel. We speak every single day and I love him more than life. So yeah. You lie about liking rubbish products like affordable cheap things. Oh God. No, I don't ever lie on my channel. I would never come on here and say, I really like this top. It was three pounds from Primark and then lie about it. If I'm promoting something to you or I'm sharing something with you, then I really do actually like it. I think when you first start YouTube out, everyone sends you things and you just want to get free stuff. You're like, oh my God, free stuff. And then you realize the free stuff doesn't pay the bills. So you only actually want to work with brands that you actually genuinely like because I, my relationship with you guys means a lot more than income in the bank. Like I've been offered things in the past before and been like, no, because I don't do that and I don't want that. So I can't lie and come on here because yeah, my reputation with you means a lot more than, yeah, you just, no, 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 no. Are you still friends with Holly? Oh, I get asked this question a lot, actually, and I feel like it's a nice time to actually finally address it. We aren't friends anymore. We haven't been friends for two years, so I find it weird that people still ask me about it because she literally hasn't been on my channel or we haven't been close for t over two years. So I've got nothing bad to say about that girl. I wish the girl all the best. She's amazing, and I actually hold her in a very big place in my heart because she helped me through a lot of things, and we were so close. So no, we're not friends anymore. We grew apart, and I'm never, ever going to slag anyone off on my channel because that is not me, and that is not my brand, so yeah. You only wear your clothes once. Whoa. Actually, you probably see me wear things once on Instagram and stuff like that, but I wear it a lot more than just once. But when I've used it a lot of times and when I've worn it on Instagram and stuff like that, I'm kind of like, I should make way for new things. So I do get rid of things by selling them on my Depop or taking them to charity. I take bags to charity monthly. There's actually bags sitting there that need to go to charity, but obviously the charity shops aren't open at the moment. So I'm holding out, I'm holding out. Freya is your least favorite sibling. Oh my God, that actually makes me want to cry, that question. Oh. No, that's horrible. All my siblings are my favourite siblings. I have two brothers from my mum and dad, and I have one sister from my mum and my stepdad. It doesn't make her any less of a sister. Like, I love her so much. Everyone thought when I was, when Freya was, when my mum was pregnant with Freya, that I was going to worry about it, but it was because it was so close to my parents breaking up. But I love Freya so much. I literally said to Spence the other day, I was like, I miss watching her grow up. She lives in the New Forest, so I don't see her as much as my dad, because my dad lives in Brighton. But yeah, I love Freya. You control Spencer's Instagram account. Why, why you not? <laughs> I definitely don't control Spencer's Instagram account. He has full reins of his Instagram account. The only time he ever gives me his login is if he wants one of the effects, you know, like the nice filters he can't get, or he wants me to upload something for him. And he's like, you Absolutely. do it better, Mills. Can you do it? So that's that. Next question. There isn't any more questions. Oh, what time did I do it in? Uh, eight minutes. Woohoo! How was I? Yeah, very good. I'm shaking because it's just so much pressure because you think, I hope that I give them the right thing they want to hear and like be honest and open. Oh, and yeah. oh. It's just a scary thing because you feel like you're under a spotlight. Do you know what I mean? Very honest. And also my jaw is aching because I've got this bloody TMD. Anyway, stop talking about it. I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being my lovely quiz master. You're welcome. We are off for our hour walk out in the sun today, loving life. And I hope you definitely enjoy this video by please giving it a massive thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, join my family of puns. I'd be so grateful. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for you in my life and see you on Saturday for a story time that I didn't make up. <laughs> Bye!